Hey, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a full chest workout today and it's another gym tour. So when I was thinking of other gyms to show you around, there was one that slipped my mind that's walking distance from the place. So here we go with another real gym tour. If you stay till the end of the video, you'll see all of that. Another great example of a awesome gym for bodybuilding. In the meantime, it'll be a full chest workout with everything that I'd normally do. All the angles covered, upper, middle, lower, with pressing and fly motions and a bit of explanation of all of that. And I look forward to hearing what you think about this gym. It's uh, Legends in Harringay. We're almost there now. It's on the Harringay High Street. They've got another one down in Dalston in London, but this one's closer to me. So it'll be this one that I'm checking out today. And I've just arrived. It's not the easiest to find because it's up opposite a snooker club. If you go up here, you can just see the signs in the background here. But it's really well equipped. I have been before, but it's been a long time, so I don't remember exactly what there was. So I'll be figuring out this workout as we go and stick around for the tour. It's going to be another great session. If you think I've trained hard enough, give us a thumbs up. If you want to ask anything, clarify anything, or just tell me I'm small, put it in the comments. If you really love all the bodybuilding info, subscribe. Catch you in there. So I'm back using the 65 kg dumbbells like last time. I want to get a rep more or two. But as this is what I'm really progressing, I'm going to make it my first exercise for the time being. So here goes. Mine. Like, right, that's it. Oh. Cheers. Oh. The dumbbells go up to 70s in this place, like the new ones at Bodyworks. So I was tempted to touch them, but I feel like until I can get over 10 reps on every set with the 65s, I'm not quite ready to be moving on to the 70s. But I really look forward to it. I'm going to keep working hard on it and get another set with the 65s now. Here we go. Come on. Good. All your, yeah? Good. That's it. Cheers, Alex. No problem, nice one. Yeah, it was a bit shaky. I'm getting used to it. I'll do some lighter quality ones now. I'm happy with that. Having someone I haven't met before spot, I feel like he was giving me more help than what I had last time. So it's hard to gauge how that compares to last time, but it can only help that I'm consistently holding that weight and pressing it. But now I'm going to do a couple of back offsets. Still going to train them to failure, but just a little bit lighter and manage quality reps all on my own. Hopefully I've set that up nicely to show all the dumbbells in the background. I'm dropping down to 50s now, but I've just had an idea to make sure that I'm working harder than last time. I'm going to do a set with the 50s and then the fourth set, I'll do the 50s again and a drop set into whatever I think I can manage. And that'll be something more challenging than last time so I can know Oh, that's wrong. Good job I checked that. Always check first. That is not a 50, that is a 40. Stand by. Good job I checked that. 
the only matching ones close to 50 I can find are 47 and a half so I've got 47 and a half but it would have looked well for me if I'd picked those 40s up thinking they were 50s I would have thought as a right hero how they probably would have flown so these are matching and they're 47 and a half kilos each which I believe is what I dropped down to last time So I'm all set up to drop from 47 and a half to 27 and a half. Usually, nice rule of thumb for a drop set is uh, you're going to be getting similar reps, so you drop down to about half what you had, ish. You know, that's usually what feels feels productive. So I've got almost almost that with these. Last one. And quickly, quickly. absolutely battered from that already but looking at different angles for chest I want to do something incline next don't know what they've got I'm gonna to have to go and explore now and see what I can find but I quite fancy some kind of machine after all those dumbbell sets just don't remember what they have all I remembered in here was that everything's yellow so I tried to adhere to some sort of dress code I've had a little wander and they got all sorts of kit and I've decided the next thing's going to be the plate loaded hammer strength incline press so I'm just waiting to jump on that but basically all the upper body stuff here is hammer strength and then the lower body stuff is Cybex and life fitness so it's a lot of the stuff that I recommend familiar with happy training with already but this particular piece I'm using the plate loaded um, plate loaded incline press we haven't got in my usual gym so quite looking forward to that it's so a set one, just two plates each side because I haven't used this piece for ages and I need to gauge where I'm at with it, especially after that crazy drop set. shall we so you know it's a real gym when all the plates are iron like this you know it just doesn't sound right in the gym if you never get to hear this sound how about that Ah! Uh, uh. 
Oh. Oh. Well, there's all this messing around, but the training's dropping off right now. I don't edit out any of the bad sets, so uh, that is what it is. Only getting partial reps there, like really bad ones, so it's gonna have to be dropped back down, isn't it? I worked myself that hard on the first exercise that this is definitely feeling more challenging than usual. Possibly in combination with the fact that I haven't used this, uh, this piece recently. I've been using other exercises, other types of machines for the incline kind of angle. Definitely the one with the weight stacks is, is easier. I think it's just the angle. You can get quite a steep incline on this plate loaded one which I think is probably better. Really pumps in my pecs all the way up to the top. I can feel that. And I've got one more set on here. And then try and find something for decline, but maybe just skip straight to an isolation. They look to have sets of cables here. They look to have a machine fly, which I tend to prefer to dumbbells, getting the resistance all the way through. But when you do this body part split, it's really nice to just focus on one muscle group and get all of it in one session. I know that people like call it a bro split, and for me now that I'm not doing the two leg days a week, it's everything once a week, I'm on a proper bro split, but I mean, that sounds cool. I think people call it a bro set to kind of criticize it, but it, you know, it's what many or maybe even most of the biggest guys have done is kind of like body part training routines, so don't knock it but all these chest days and more upper body days than lower body days that's proper bro and that makes me happy Let's drop set it again. Make the most of this while I've got access to this machine. They're calling it the isolateral super incline press. And it definitely feels more super incline than what I've been using lately. I don't know what the et etiquette is in here for putting your weights away. At zone, it's put everything back on the on the trees, not even on the sides of the machines. Just everything, strip it down. At body works, it's just leave whatever wherever you want. That's what everyone does. That's the done thing. And here, I can't really tell what's going on, so I'm going to play it safe and take them off, but put them near where they may be most likely to be used on the machine go for a sort of middle ground i don't want to get kicked out do i moving on to my isolation stuff now i have found a machine fly and i love this kind of thing it's my favorite isolation at the moment so all your chest training basically going to be forms of pressing and forms of flying but for all the flies, these kind of machines are my favourite, so it's an opportunity to try a slightly different one. This is a light fitness one. The stack looks to be a little bit heavier than other machines of this type. So I put it on 84 kilos, but it goes quite a bit heavier than that, which is good to know.
right. Rather than completely exhaust on that set, that's not to failure there. I want to see if I can do this whole stack. It's just a challenge while I'm here that I can't resist. So the stack goes up to 119 kilos, which must be really distressing and ruin your day if you're sort of anal about even and odd numbers. But they couldn't just put one more kilo on there. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. Let's go. That is the heaviest pec deck fly machine that I've used, that I remember. The Life Fitness, I remember that. That can be one of my goals for this year, is to get up to repping out with this thing in here. I'll do a couple more sensible sets and then move it on. Set three. Keeping with how the rest of this workout's gone so far, I'm going to do another drop set and make all of today a drop set bonanza. I'm nearly done. I can do one more exercise and then we'll take the tour of this place. Try to show some nice shots so you can get an idea of what's in the background each time, but we're gonna take the full tour, explore everything they've got here for the video, round it all up. So the last thing is gonna be the decline angle, which if you're familiar with my videos, you're probably not surprised that that's what I've been left out and that's what I'll be considering to do next. I was having a look around to see if I could find a unique piece of equipment that wouldn't feature in previous videos, but um, there's nothing completely different, so I'm going to something that I've done for ages, the decline bench press, as most recently I've been doing weighted dips in the last videos, and before that I've been doing some machines that press at a decline angle, so those are your kind of choices for decline, your weighted dips, decline bench press, decline dumbbell press, and which I did the very last time and certain machines. And I just thought I'd go back to what hasn't been done most recently for a bit of novelty, but as I've worked so hard so far, and I'm training on my own with a barbell, I'm using a very light weight for me, just to be on the safe side, and I can work hard with extra reps rather than carrying super high load. So it's only 80 kilos on here. I'm going to set one there.
set to Set three. And last set of the day, let's work it hard. Chest day, I am curious to see how I'm looking. Oh, yep, pretty happy with that for another chest mate. Excuse me there, as is a chest day. I really couldn't resist seeing how I'm getting on. But now, all the hard work's done, and it's time to take the tour of Legends Gym. So, it's on the Haringey High Road. Just opposite that snooker hall, as I showed you. You come upstairs, and then there's the reception. And we're gonna start there for the tour, and I'm gonna show you all the equipment they've got in here. Again, it's another place that looked like it used to be a theater or something. And it's got a lot of character. It's a very friendly place. I spent a while talking to some of the guys here, getting on really well, making friends, and it's just very relaxed in here, like, not in a slacking off training way, but in a chilled out friendly way. So it's actually been a place that previously I've brought beginners to show them like how to train somewhere that's less hectic and not judgmental at all, no one's stuck up here or anything like that. So really, really friendly place and well equipped, so let's take the tour now. So as you arrive, you've got the reception here. And like all these real places, you can just do a day pass. And all the resistance stuff is on this floor here, all above the street. Very light, a lot of sunshine coming through, which kind of creates a different vibe. And then they've got two areas up the steps, which we'll explore after we've done all of the main area. So you've got that side, and then some cardio stuff on the other side. So. Let's take the tour. Like most of these places, it's all organized sensibly according to muscle group and stuff. So you've got the seated calf, we're in the leg area, obviously. Seated calf raise, the V squat machine, and then we've got the hack squat. We've got the 
diagonal sled, leg press, the usual thing. And then as we come this way, it's more stuff for shoulders and pressing time movements. So you've got the back hyperextension there. You've got the seating or standing shrug machine. You've got an overhead press here. Now this is a little bit different to what I've been using lately. The handles are further forwards. This is more like doing a military press or barbell overhead press in front rather than the piece that they've got the mimics a behind the neck press. So that's that one they're just calling a shoulder press, not a behind the neck press. You've got a lateral raise thing here and you've got a forearms grip strength exercising machine. You've got that high incline plate loaded that I was using earlier. You've got the machine dip. I come down this way, I'm just trying to avoid getting in anyone's way or anything like that. And we'll take a quick, a quick break a moment while I change the battery. So we're back in action, battery's changed, we're all good. And coming back round, we haven't looked at yet, we've got a chest press, that's the one that converges, that's quite nice to focus on the pack there. We've got a chest press by Cybex, and then we've got something that looks to me like the hammer strength plate loaded decline press. Then just here we've got the cable, sorry not the cable, the machine fly that I was using. Come back this way, we're looking at an incline barbell press. And we look to be getting into the pieces for exercising your back, this week, zigzag back this way. So you've got a low to high row plate loaded machine. You've got the usual high row by Hammer Strength, which I'm a huge fan of, as you know. And then we've got what used to be called a ridden row, but they're calling it an isolateral row. A pull down plate loaded, each side working independently. That's a nice, uh, nice variation. And we've got bits for abs and similar. So we've got the ab crunch machine. We've got other pieces kind of random now, so you've got the kneeling hamstring curl, you've got the machine preacher curl there. We'll just keep out of this way while they're training. We come back zigzagging this way. We've got the decline bench press I was using. We've got the standing calf raise. If I stay on this side where the leg stuff is. We've then got the adductor and abductor. So with those it's adduction when you're pressing things in and it's abduction when you're pushing them apart from the center line of the body. We've got this here. I think this is one of these things that you swing your leg on. I'm uh, not familiar with it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna claim to know actually. So we'll forget about that and move on. This one looks to be a twist for like the obliques. I probably wouldn't use it myself. Then you've got the um, Cybex row and rear delt which I use quite frequently. You've got a leg extension. You've got one that looks like a glute kickback machine there. You lean forwards on it, of course. And just behind it, you've got the lying leg curl, more standard machine there. And if I just step back, there's a back extension machine. That's a bit of an unusual, unusual piece. And they've got something similar this way, where it's uh, a crunch machine that you just lean your body on come around this way we've got the hammer strength flat press plate loaded that's quite a handy piece but it can stretch a bit much so usually people put the put the weights underneath the pads there so it doesn't go down quite as low then you've got the t-bar you've got two flat benches here so we've seen the incline and decline but you've got flat barbell bench press stuff and all this side here is your incline benches and that rack of dumbbells that goes up to 70 kilos, which I'll be up to soon, I promise. And just round in the corner here, you've got a Smith machine. Always a handy and versatile piece of kit, so I'm glad they've got that. Now if I walk around the edge here, you've got fixed dumbbells and you've got a rack for overhead pressing or military presses sometimes it can be called but it's got the racks on it in front and behind, so it's good for behind the neck press or in front, depending on how you, how you prefer to re-rack the bar afterwards. And I'll just turn the slide to give you a view from the other side. Uh, coming round again, we've then got the 
weight assisted dip and pull up station you've got a nice regular dip and pull up without the assistance so you've got the chains down there to even add resistance to your body weight by draping those over your shoulders i personally prefer the weight belts with the chain that goes through but uh, i haven't seen that here you can always buy your own of course then you've got two squat racks just here you've got a lap pull down machine fixture and you've got cross cables just behind that and another set of cross cables next to the decline bench so all the really popular stuff and useful stuff they look to have two of which is really handy having two squat racks uh, two two sets of cross cables I'll just show you the view panning round of this main floor here from the other side there you go so it's a a little bit of a maze of different machines there at the at the far side but pretty much everything you want really well equipped and as you can see it's not too busy so we're going to take a trip upstairs now and up on this side we've got the little baby dumbbells the bosu balls or whatever they call them bouncy balls i don't know and a lot of free space for doing your your hit training or high intensity interval training not High intensity Dorian momenta training. This is your cardio blast run around, bounce up and down area, I think. And then the steps come down the other side. So we'll take it down the other side and look at what's upstairs on the far side. And here we go up the other side. I forgot to mention or didn't notice as I went round that on that other side they've got the battle ropes, which is my personal favourite for that kind of circuit training or Tabata kind of training thing so maybe do a demo of battle ropes another day you've got all your cardio machines upstairs on this side and your boxing bags i'll just kind of keep out of the way and come over here show you the treadmills it's all the usual stuff like rec reclining bikes whatever you call these stuff that i never really use treadmills rowing machines the normal stationary bike couple of other bikes and like the other side there's steps down as well from the other side I'll just give you a nice view from up top of the main gym floor there and all the dumbbell stuff is down underneath us and all the machines are variously scattered about on the far side And that's the whole of Legends Gym, Harringay. Almost forgot, there is one more little area downstairs with a few seats and a few more treadmills. So that is the final piece. Just another cardio area there. And we're done for the day. I hope you enjoyed that gym tour there. As always, I do pick gyms that I already know are going to be good. I want to sort of showcase what I consider to be a really good gym, a really kind of ideal place to train, well equipped, good atmosphere and hard working environment. So that's another example, but I'm going to keep them coming. There's loads of other places that I know in London and I'm really proud of where I live actually. I think where I'm from, my hometown Peterborough, there was several really good hardcore gyms we had there. Ultra Bodies, Best Bodies, back in the day, I don't know if they still exist, but now where Looks Good is uh, Definition Gym and Body Works Gym in Peterborough. So I was always used to like proper gyms, like bodybuilding orientated places, but as I've been in North London for the last 15 years or so, I've got used to <laughs> just how many great places are nearby, you know, in my little area here we've got Zone. It's kind of my main one, and Body Works also my main one. But you've got <coughs> Pumping Iron Gym, Giants Gym, Legends Gym, Muscle Works Gym, two of those. And, well, two of those in North London before you start looking at the other ones. And then there's uh, Dench Fitness Gym. There's, there's loads I'm going to show, so stick with it if you, if you want to see inside all the, all the best places in London that I'd recommend. I've got lots more on the shortlist and 
I'm going to keep all the workouts going. As you can see, I'm training hard. I'm happy with how it went today. As I said before, I can't really tell how much better, if at all, those presses with the 65 kilo dumbbells went because I was spotting with someone that I'd just met and he was, he was giving me more help than, than what I had last time, so I can't really compare. But what I do know is that I made sure to work harder by getting more reps on the back offsets and the drop set and all of that to failure. And I could certainly feel that through the rest of the workout. So I moved on to other bits. So I'm always training hard, I'm always pushing myself. I think the next workout is going to be back, but as you know, the split has changed, so that it'll be legs just once a week until my knees kind of settle down a little bit. And that's that's how training's going. The uh, amount of food that I'm eating now, as I'm getting very close to 300 pounds, this little journey here is challenging to say the least. I did go to the all-you-can-eat buffet again last night, and this time I think I managed eight or nine steaks uh, plus five other plates and dessert so that was that was pretty heavy but the kind of size that I've got to the amount of training that I'm doing and everything else in the system means it's very hard for me to overeat so I mean in what sometimes feels like a luxury position of just like hitting loads of food you know the so-called seafood diet where you see food and eat food I joke about I'm in a little bit of that position where I can just sort of get away with it but actually it's not that much fun it's it's kind of uncomfortable and you know when you're doing all lots of separate meals throughout the day it's a little bit like monotonous time consuming and getting it all down but I certainly built up a good appetite from that workout I'm looking forward to getting home and having having a load of fish, a load of cream of rice, and probably the next meal after that in quick succession. This, I'm actually hungry, which is a luxury when you're eating this much. It can feel like a challenge to have the appetite to keep going with it, but you're actually grateful when you are hungry. It makes you actually enjoy some of the meals more and you worked for it and built up a bit of appetite. So that's me today. I'm looking Looking forward to getting the food down. I'm looking forward to putting more videos out there. You may have seen my video from yesterday, a review of William Llewellyn's Anabolics 2006, just to show you like straight away that we're going to be talking about all topics of bodybuilding. So if you want that one-stop shop where everything gets discussed, this is the channel for you. Make sure that you subscribe. And that's what I'd like to finish on. Make sure you subscribe. See you soon. Cheers.